I already looked up stock prices for rare. Yes, yeah, so uh, yeah. I'm going to continue the uh, the magnetic technology session. Uh, thanks to Sages and the session chairs for giving me a chance to speak. Um, I'm going to be presenting some data uh, from Drs. Berry uh, in Chile, looking at uh, a novel magnetic technology for sleeve gastrectomy and the first human experience with this new device. So I do have some disclosures. I am a consultant for Levita Magnetics, uh, which makes the device. And Levita Magnetic Surgical System is currently investigational in the United States. Uh, a marketing application for the device is currently under FDA review. The device is CE marked and commercially available in Chile, where the operations were performed. So it's fitting that at Sages and at the Emerging Technology session, we're always looking at ways to decrease the impact of our procedures uh, from open to laparoscopy to single site to endoluminal. Uh, and we've had successes in, in certain areas. And in other areas, uh, we've had enthusiasm uh, and we've had to step back and reevaluate what we're doing. But magnetic surgical technology may provide a simple and effective solution if we're looking at reduced port surgery or different access to organs than we would achieve through standard trocars or laparoscopy. And the idea of trocarless magnetic driven uh, devices, including cameras and liver retractors, aren't necessarily new. Uh, this is a paper from Annals in 2007 looking at trocarless instrumentation for laparoscopy. This was a magnetic positioning uh, device for an intra abdominal camera and retractor. And then operations have been performed in conjunction with other less invasive technologies as well. So uh, retraction and triangulation uh, with a magnetic forceps for single port laparoscopy. Uh, for gallbladder retraction, cephalad and lateral with externally fixated uh, magnets uh, for exposure. And this was a series of 40 patients who underwent single port cholecystectomy. So how is this device different? What are the potential applications for uh, the magnetic surgical system from Levita? So there's an external magnetic controller, uh, which is held uh, over the chest or the abdomen, uh, and a magnetic grasper device with a detachable tip. Without a trocar, there's not a limit to uh, the rotation uh, nor the location of that instrument going through the abdominal wall, um, potentially with an increased range of motion. So it's capable of being repositioned under direct visualization uh, to optimize uh, uh, viewing. So the study that was done in Chile was the initial experience using this magnetic surgical system in a reduced port sleeve gastrectomy. And I'll show you some data on the first 23 patients who underwent this procedure. So uh, different than my standard port placement for a sleeve gastrectomy, uh, there's three trocars here uh, and the external magnetic controller, uh, which will be used for traction during the course of the operation. So this is a device being deployed along the greater curve of the stomach. Uh, the short gastric vessels are being taken, but you can see that the grasper is really levitating in the air uh, and retracting laterally, uh, and that's being manipulated by the assistant to allow for that exposure. So uh, it's not limited by the access site of a trocar, uh, and really once we're doing the operation, it looks like a pretty standard sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, the mobility allows for visualization posteriorly, and you can see that now the retractor is much more medial than it was before, so medial and lateral positioning uh, is quite easy with the device. It can be removed and redeployed with standard laparoscopic instruments uh, or with the uh, grasper that you saw before, and this is going to allow for more dissection uh, up toward the esophagogastric junction. You can see the external magnet is allowing for that to couple up to the abdominal wall, and moved laterally for better exposure uh, so that the short gastric vessels can be divided in a standard manner. So in this small series of patients, uh, 16 women, seven men, uh, 35 years old, BMI in the mid 30s with the standard weight related comorbid conditions. There's a little bit of a learning curve to the device uh, and probably represents the variability in terms of the operative times from 50 to 138 minutes. Uh, but after several cases, that seemed to diminish significantly. And just evaluating the device from uh, an ease of use standpoint, uh, the device was seen to grasp, retract, and release the greater momentum in stomach as needed, and there were no adverse events reported in this uh, cohort of patients. There's one minor complication, uh, bleeding at a trocar site, which was unrelated to the device, 
And part of the protocol for these patients was examination six hours postoperatively uh, to evaluate the abdominal wall. Concerns about the device um, irritating the peritoneum uh, or uh, the effect of the magnet pulling uh, the retractor too much along the abdominal wall, and there, there were no adverse events noted. And from a standard laparoscopic surgery outcome, no leaks in this cohort. So in the small series of, of diminished trocar laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, it clearly uh, limited the number of incisions uh, and seemed to give adequate exposure for standard laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy uh, dissection and stapling. Uh, and in a, a cohort of patients with higher BMIs. So clearly, future directions, uh, additional clinical evaluations. Uh, we'll look at applications to other laparoscopic procedures uh, with different end effectors uh, and other devices that potentially could work along a similar platform. Thanks very much. <clears throat>